Are you guys familiar with uh, Amy Farrah Fowler from uh, Big Bang Theory? She's the little sister, Ginger Farrah Fowler. That's all I kept thinking when I saw her. She's basically like a ginger version of Amy Farrah Fowler. I kept calling her not as fat as Tilly. <laughs> <laughs> She's not as fat as. Can you believe I can like look at this? Oh, look, look. Oh, Miss Clara, honey, we gonna make you look like a pill. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh dear Lord, oh, dear my Lord, God. here we are. Um, we're gonna talk hard. Um, because Lord knows there's not much else to do with a film like this. Welcome everyone. Talk hard it is, Cocaine Shark, a movie that has very little to nothing to do with cocaine or sharks, but here we are. I don't I don't know what to say. I don't, Iron Caster, we're going to blame you first cuz you're you have a you have a problem, Iron Caster. You you see movie posters like bright shiny things like fish in the ocean. Like I could do that. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. Mhm. Look, First step is admitting you have a problem. I think. Look, I, I, I'm attracted to the, the bad poster. If it has a, if it, if it has a terrible pun for a name, I want to punish you guys. I'm like, hey, look at this terrible movie poster. The title is amazing. And then, uh, hashtag blame Loki. He went on the naive naivete, thinking that this was like a franchise or something. Cocaine bear entertained you for at least five seconds and you thought this would be the same no it is not uh, that is not. bear that bear eating that kilo of coke and just wiggling its butt and doing snow angels in the dirt and i mean how can you not love that how can you not love him flying into the back of that ambulance and grabbing the guy dragging him out and causing all that chaos it was it was wonderful it was like they threw a chaos grenade out with a bear high on cocaine to see what happened. This completely <laughs> stole the title. This wasn't even called Cocaine Shark. It was called Crab Shark in Japan. Yeah. So before they ever changed the name to Cocaine Shark, it was called Crab Shark in Japan. It premiered in Japan at one of their, like, we made this movie on a Samsung Galaxy 22 things and yeah oh they did they did they filmed they filmed with uh phones they filmed this movie with phones i'm not kidding that's what they did they used an app to do the special effects for everything i, I just i was blown away at the uh the badness of every it, it really was me sitting there going is it as bad or worse than thanks killing that's kind of where I was at most of the time was like, how bad is this? And I, and I have to be honest, I don't even feel like they tried to have decent dialogue. Like there wasn't even like an effort to make a good movie. Like the one couple in the film is actually a married couple in real life. And they almost have this aversion of touching one another. It's so it's such these scenes where they're in bed is so awkward and unbelievable. I'm like, what am I watching? And then this, I have no idea. A am I wrong? Did you guys? Okay. The thing eats two different people at two different times, but I think the shot is exactly the same both times. Am I right? Yes. It saves money that way. Oh, for love of freaking Pete. Because the outfits don't even match. Like it does. Dude has a dude in one the shot where he has the one guy, he's eating the one guy, he has the suitcase, but the guy doesn't have the suitcase. I'm like, I don't understand what's happening. That's not even in this shot. Okay, never mind. We're getting way ahead of ourselves. We're getting way ahead of ourselves. Let's say hey to chat. If you're in chat and you sat through this movie, can you put a one in the chat so I knew who suffered alongside of us? Which, um, by the way, by the way, this movie apparently premiered uh what july 7th so this is about two and a half weeks old so oh my god you know, it's just, just very few people who will probably ever watch this movie don't you guys feel special oh i feel like i need to be on a special bus does that count i mean this is this is this requires a helmet i think is what i think hail to the triumvirate of talking hard hey chris and i know chris chris is chris what chris was with iron caster where i guess we had some mix up maybe we misspoke with doing 
the Meg last week versus Cocaine Shark because he's been sitting on Cocaine Shark jokes for like two weeks. So yeah, yeah, poor Chris. Yeah, it's rough. Penny is here. Hey, lady. Also great. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, let's see. Merely contemplating the validity of where the budget went. Yeah, we definitely were discussing that. There's no money spent on anything other than the poster. There was a budget. Well, here's my theory. I did the formula. 93.7% of the budget went on graphic design and promotion to get this on Tubi. Uh, gas, um, back and forth to production, and food was 5%. Production was actually 1.3. Forgot the line budget for Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, how you doing, brother? Hey, doing all right. Uh, yes, that was my uh, breakdown of expenditures. What was... Wait, wait. Okay, but what was the actual budget? Do we actually have a number for that, or have no it, are we just? Oh. It's clearly just a digital phone. I mean, I, it's not even VHS. Like, it, it's clearly digital, and the effects are just—I don't even know how they did the rendering, but it's so bad. They they used they used an app on a phone, so they used an app on a phone, and you know the apps you can get the special effects apps where they're like, add your own special effects to any video or photo you have. In app purchases may apply. They used one of those. They. This, this is what you get when you don't pay for the special effects, apparently. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, and I want to get to this in a minute, but we'll we'll, we'll come back. Yeah, yeah, iPhone 14. Pat S, Cocaine Shark. Who is this movie for? Saw my new YouTube short say Ironcaster's name 27 times. Yeah, Ironcaster. Iron, hashtag blame Ironcaster. Meth Sharp. You can't uh, bite when you got no teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I'm just Cracoon next. Yes, yeah, don't don't you're you're we're gonna put you in time out. No, no. Nas, not, no. I hear you. Cocaine Watto. Yeah. Yeah. I would, cocaine anything movies. with Watto references. We're not doing any cocaine movies for uh for a minute. That's for darn sure. <laughs> Street Sharks was a ripoff TMT. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh it, yes. Um, well, hmm. I don't know. No, actually, Nas, I actually think Sharks of the Corn was worse. I know that's really impossible to believe because they at least tried to put graphics in this one. There was actual editing and stuff in this one. The other one, though, with Sharks of the Corn was literally like, I mean, I don't mean no budget. I mean, like they didn't spend any. It was just stuff they had around the house. They like bought a mask. And yeah, so I actually think Sharks of the Corn is worse. I mean, that's crazy to believe. I don't know how you can be worse, but yes. You could actually show show sharks, uh, cocaine shark to a kid. I think. Oh, the the Loki kiddo watched it with me. Um, I'm she's, sorry. Uh, they're 16, and the I mean the the ending boat was absolute trash. I think she's called it shit. But she's seen she's seen like B movie stuff. You know her whole life, and um, this was absolute trash for her. I think there's some B movie stuff in video games from the 80s and the 90s that's better than this movie. Oh yeah, it's bad. It's it definitely like it's it's it, but it's right there with like sharks, sharks of the corn, and then thanks, thanks killing is in there. This is this, it's it's so and so. Um, I guess you're. I'm going to pull this up because let's just start with something that's very obvious to me. I don't, I don't even understand what is he, is it Velcro? Like he's just, he just has his hands there, but there no, there's no handcuffs. I don't even know why he's handcuffed. It's like everything is just, it's, I don't, oh my God. I don't even know where to begin with this. Anyway, you guys it's have medical to tape. It's medical tape. Oh my God. They so put stupid. medical tape around his wrist and, and tied him to the. <laughs> so yeah. dumb. You just roll your arm. They'll break right off. It's so dumb. Like, oh, okay. So. Haven't you ever got one narration. of those annoying wristbands at the hospital yeah. that you can't get off? You, you're, you're like, honey, bring me the scissors. That's I what. thought that's what they had first, but that's not. It's not. I thought they had a wristband. They just had it hooked in there. I'm like, oh, that would have made more sense. Like a zip tie and the. No. No, that's not what they did. Zip ties would have actually made sense. I was trying to make sense that that was his actual beard, if that was fake or not. I think it's his beard, but what doesn't make sense is later that they they put a line in about he needed to shave, but then when they cut back, he's in the bed in real time, and he has the beard again. So I'm really confused. 
I mean, they don't care, so I'm not sure why I do. Yes, yes. Should um, you got to back be- up before we get to this? We have to get to the c- cannoli Sasquatch question, okay? Because the first character that I'm introduced to is it? This is this is turn off sound, please. I don't want to deal with the the yeah. YouTube drama. I don't want any sound. Yeah, They're, trust me, we're not missing anything with sound. Um, yeah, just give me thirty seconds, and we'll get you to. You don't want to hear the wonderful narration at the beginning of this movie. I don't know about the narration, but I want to get to this guy. I woke this, up in a hospital bed. I, I think that's after. I there he is. Okay. So this dude, um, <laughs> we need to, We need to call Cannoli and ask Cannoli's Sasquatch to fess up if he has a little brother, because I feel like this is a this is an amalgam of Cannoli Sasquatch and John Lovitz. It's Cannoli Lovitz. So Cannoli Lovitz is is phoning it in. Like he didn't even care about his lines. Like I think he's literally looking at a Dollar Tree uh, with with a sharpie, like a like a poster board, and they wrote the lines. That's what they, you say this. Now say this. Like it's, it's literally that bad. But then the guy, I guess, is going to. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Ironcaster. Give us thirty seconds. What happens? It makes no sense. Oh no, I guess it's go back ten seconds. See if it'll let us get the. They put a plastic bag over his head. So I don't understand. I thought we were going to suffocate him. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. The, no, no, we got, we got, but the plastic bag, it's not a black bag, like a black, <laughs> like a hoodie bag. You can't see where you're going. It's literally a plastic bag, like you're trying to suffocate someone. So I'm really, really, really confused on what we're doing. Like I right out of the gate, they wasted no time of not making any sense whatsoever. Um, and by the way, for any of you that think that any of these graphics and cut shots are remotely good. They're all public domain shots. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a lot. The stock footage is the best looking thing in the movie. <laughs> oh, it's by far. It's so blatantly obvious. The quality of these cut shots are some of them. Just these massive use of just stock footage. I don't even know. <laughs> looking at us, what we should do? We should just do a whole video of just stock footage, just intertwined, see what happens. I think YouTube will flag every bit of it. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. I don't know how you guys got snow dub on the, up on the screen. How did you guys get snow dub to agree to do this? Yes, it's um, it's a different snow dub. So, because you know, this guy doesn't know how to handle a gun. Oh, clearly, yeah. clearly, everyone that's around this guy would just be killed instantly because his hand is always on the trigger and he's moving and he's moving the person around like this. So, there's no way that gun's not going to go off. It happens at least three different times. <laughs> I was waiting for like. And their idea of shooting someone is just like this, 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 like this jerk motion. I'm like, what are you doing? Oh, oh. Which actually brings us to the quote unquote plot. This movie had a plot. I guess I want to hear, that. I want to hear Ironcaster. Hang on. Ironcaster, you have the floor, my friend. Tell us all what the plot is. So this is supposed to be oh a noir. This is supposed. This is supposed to be a noir film about about a detective who's about a guy, about a guy who goes undercover to go in get into a drug a drug ring that has a brand new drug on the markets that is very dangerous. The part they don't tell you is that a well they do eventually tell you, but apparently this drug turns you into a shark man. Well, that's kind of what they're going for. I guess that's what we think they're going for. Um, I don't know, man. I, I was like, what on earth is happening? Um, well, they, they've contrived some sort of lab. And they're making some sort of drug. But pull, pull the guy back up again. Let's let's get, get him back up there again. This guy. The yeah. kingpin? Yeah, oh, pull Ethan him back up Van Skyver. How did the, no, I, I no, don't no, know that's, how they got Ethan Van Skyver? Ethan Van Skyver. <laughs> how come it's not sharing? Tell me, it doesn't look like Ethan Van Skyver because of the not? way you got it in the. Oh, this is the way YouTube. you have. There yeah. you go. Sorry, I had to click on another button. Okay, okay. So this guy. Here's the thing too about this guy. They just use these cutaway shots. I thought 
he was going to be interrogating the guy that they kidnapped with the plastic bag. And it looks like he's in like a computer store because there's all these monitors behind them. But later when we have it cut back, it's like, I guess we're still in the lab. But this guy is, he's the mastermind. And it's not cocaine in the movie. What's it? It's, like, it's some sort of abbreviation like TQ25 or something. It's like the new drug on the street, man. It's like what you were saying, Loki. It was, it was never meant to be called cocaine shark. It was going to be no. called crab shark. That's what they call this thing. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not Ethan Van Skyver. That's Troy. That's Troy Pacelli. <laughs> no, you guys are mean, man. We can't be throwing it. <laughs> this movie. <laughs> <laughs> this movie deserves, I don't even know what's happening in this film. Go ahead and advance this a little bit, only because they, they do these special effects. I mean, look at, oh my gosh. Keep going. Na, 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 na. That's the set of Halo right okay. there. Okay, well, that right there is from Breaking Bad. That right there is from Breaking Bad. It's just in different colors. Okay. Because the, the exact same kind of thing. I'm it's like an effect. Dead. So they probably yeah. went to Fiverr and they got someone to just do it. Or they have the software. They know how to do it. DJ Ronnie G is here. Hey, brother. I missed you guys. Sorry. Um, yes, Ironcaster's beard is more glorious. Fair enough. Wait a minute. Yeah, they had no, there's, there's no explanation. Actually, I had to rewind the film for a minute so I could figure out why he shaved. And there's one line, which I assume they filmed after the fact and put it back because the dude probably had shaved. And they said, oh, well, I want you to bring him to the boat and make sure he's cleaned up and clean shaven. And then suddenly it look, he looks like a completely different person. It's so confusing. And then he's back in this bed with the beard and you're like, what the heck is going on? It makes no sense. So Yeah, it. The movie's like trying to do this like back and forth thing where you're like in the now with him in the bed. And then we're we're getting the flashbacks of as he's slowly coming to and remembering what happened. Cocaine Ewok would be epic. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Maybe boop, 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 boop. Actually, to be honest, the Ewoks would be terrifying hopped up on cocaine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean... The cocaine bear, I was just not a fan of. And let me tell you what, cocaine Ewoks, that's hysterical. I Chihuahua. Uh, lots of, uh, yeah, stock footage is copyrighted, but they they use these little snippets that I'm probably sure they track down public, because you can find public domains ones. You can find stuff through, like, the government websites. And, stuff, and that's what it looks like. It looks like it's very generic laboratory-type shots and things like that, so... Um. Oh, this guy, and it was so embarrassing. And they don't even show these people's faces. This is another thing they did. So what they did was, these are probably the other actors in the movie. So in order to not have other people, they just they just show they just don't show their faces. Am I wrong with that assessment? That was my best prediction on why none of the people who are in the lab coats are ever seen. We don't know who they are. Wait. Yeah, yeah, they're just they're just stand-ins, or there's someone that we've already seen, or someone. Yeah, that's like the yeah. Fuentes guy on the left is probably you know it's probably the skinnier guy that runs around. He's supposed to be the muscle, but he doesn't have any. But that guy, yeah. Shark roids, shark suticles, shark affirming care. Yes. Uh, Claude's in the house. Hey, Claude. Zax is in the house. What's up? You wandered into Cocaine Shark, Zax. And if you if any of you said this, if you any of you've seen this, we'd be more than happy for you guys to uh, let us know. ZBR is in the house, hey brother! Oh my gosh, the the Ewoks were cannibals. That's true. Cocaine that's bear what, was fun. Mm, I, I had a hard I'm, time. That's what I'm saying, though. The Ewoks would be on bath salts. Gave them some drugs to appease them. Man, he went to the Carrie Fisher card, guys. That's good stuff. All right, advance this the best you can. I don't even know what to say. I was so blown away at how awful this movie was. It makes no sense ever. Here's a stock footage shot. So some, they found this somewhere. They found, you know, okay, this was confusing as all get out. So they have this quick shot of this rando scientist, and they have a close-up shot of an aquarium. Then there's an explosion, and then they cut, and then he suddenly got all this prosthetic makeup on the side of his face. For like one shot. So here's our here's our here's our explosion. There you go. And he has this. 
And the narration is like, I didn't, I wish I hadn't survived or something. It's just done with narration. I don't think this guy actually speaks a line in the entire film. He's just later, he, he just grunts and stuff. All right. What's up next? More stock photo footage. Yep. He's off being the private detective trying to oh, get him. And he, he carries, <laughs> he's doing two holsters and he's just walking around with them on. He doesn't <laughs> have a jacket. He's not going anywhere. He's like hanging around his house, just walking around. Loki, I just, I want, I want you to just get Mike to do this and do a video. I just want to see his head. Just try to like, not <laughs> what on earth is wrong with these people. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, Mike trying to do something like this? Oh, yeah, I could see that. It, it's the narration that's like, it was a hard day at the bay. The rain was coming down, and I was on the phone with my ma. Mom, all right, I said. It's okay. I'm going to be all right. It's just a little rain in the bay. We could make this movie night. better with that yeah. kind of narration. All right, I'm thinking of what you're doing there. But see, that voice doesn't match the guy because he's just like some regular dude. The voice doesn't match. It would have been cool to have inner dialogue uh, narration that was cool like that. It's okay, boss. I don't need a medal. I know what I did for my country. I've done it. All the important people know, and that's all that matters to me. As long as the president comes down and says, hey, Joe, you're doing a good job. I'll look him in the eye and say, hey, Joe, oh. you're not. Go back home. We have to get to the name because his name is, is it his name is Neil in the movie, but it's Nick on IMDb. They don't even bother trying to have the press. Am I wrong? I put this on our message thing. I like checked IMDb and I'm like, what the heck? Who is this character? And I realized they don't even have the names right. No, they don't care enough to they go don't back. Don't even and fix care, it. guys. I kid you not, man. They're, they're already off filming like two other movies. Like, do you think they have time to focus on this one? Oh yeah, they. Have, this is all they do. The, the one guy, he's either the producer, or the director, and every he has all these movies, and they're all like one point seven, two point three, one point six. They're just always just. I mean, this is, but this is like less pride than the schlock people used to have back in the day. Because the the schlock people, their excuse was we had no money and we had no tech. They have tech. And it doesn't cost that much money to at least try to make a story. There's no story. It's just random crap they throw together. It doesn't even make sense. You don't even care to put the right character's name on IMDb, even though you somehow got this crap to be picked up on Tubi. It's just crazy. So on the plus side, the writer doesn't have any other work <laughs> lined up. Fake this board. is the last thing they're doing, apparently. The director, though, has three films upcoming. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I ask you to have to review every single one of them. The Stalking. What was this? And Snow the, Babes. The writer's name is made up. The dude's name is Bando Glutz. Bando Glutz. Bando Glutz. I bet it's Bando Glutz. That's just a made-up name. No, the person's not called named Bando Glutz. They wrote Cocaine Shark, Jurassic Shark 3, The Sea Venge, and The Christmas Craft Fair Massacre. The Christmas Craft Fair Massacre? <laughs> what in the name? Oh, holy hell. Have we watered? Okay, hold, hold on a minute, everyone. We have to stop for a moment. My brain is like, what? I thought Santa's sleigh was a little on the nut side. Oh, there's got to be a post. What on earth is wrong with these people? Like, I this, this looks like they stole the poster from Jack Frost. That's Christmas Craft Fair Massacre. Oh my gosh. So I, I want to understand, Loki, when you're sitting there with your daughter. Does she still talk to you? <laughs> After watching that, I'm surprised she did. Um, the entire movie it was pretty much this is really bad. Does the whole movie look like this? 
is this going to get good? Why <laughs> are we watching this? <laughs> You tell her she so was excited because we watched we watched Cocaine Bear first. <laughs> that was like the oh, and she was like that bear was great. The bear was great. The whole point was the bear. You're rooting for the bear. The effects were real good. And she's like, oh yeah, sharks because we just went and saw the megalodon exhibit at the museum and a, a IMAX shark movie and all that. So she was excited. And then she saw that and she's like, what in the hell is that? The little crab bar. <laughs> and I blamed it all on Ironcaster. I said, Well, sweetheart, one of the one of the people I do the stream with, Ironcaster, he likes really shitty movies. It's insane. I I I I'm just sort of like blown away at how bad it is. Um Ironcaster, if you can advance it at all, that'd be great. But I think he had to step aside for a second. I I I really couldn't believe it was this bad. Like I literally, I didn't, for some reason I was with you. I kind of thought, well, this is likely to be like cocaine bear that didn't cut it. Or they just, they went ahead and threw something else together. You know what I mean? To do it. Um, to get something else out there. You know I mean? That's just, that's, that's fine. But this was so bad. Um, I'm going to pull the trailer up because I got to have some sort of footage that I can just show people. I'd I don't even watch... know where it, I don't even know where because you uh, did you see the trailer Loki? Yes. Okay, because there's 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 some footage in the trailer that I didn't even remember. Like I'm like, yeah, what? no, no, I don't think it was in the movie. Yeah, well, like what is what is going on? So I cut it. I would rather watch the Flash again before I'd watch this movie. I think that's true. I didn't think there could be something really this bad. I really, I really didn't. Um, but there's like this opening with this dialogue. Let me turn the sound off in case it does play. Um, and there's these shots of like cargo containers and stuff. And I'm like, I don't remember any of this. This walking shot. It is cut right to Cannoli Lovitz. And no, that's all something. Bag. That's all something off of Shutterstock or something. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, so Definitely. here's our shot of the shark, which Ironcaster had didn't miss earlier. Like, this is the shot. And I thought to myself, oh, dear Lord. That's what I literally thought, oh, dear Lord. Who else expected to hear the uh, the Bruce Banner opening to the old eight, the old 70s, 80s Hulk? Dun, 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 a scientist experimented with gamma rays. I wish it had been this good. Then I saw this thing. This thing, the spider bat thing with this fit. What? So, is there an app that makes these things? Is that what you were saying? <laughs> yeah, they use a they used an app, a special effects app where you can, you know, you like it's like an in app purchases, so you can add stuff to it. It's bad. It's really Pop bad. shark. Don't 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 awesome one. Just it's it's we're it's really rough on me right now. It was I don't even I think I so this in the movie is what ten minutes in maybe. If that, if that, I paused and went to go get a snack. I didn't even make it past the shot. I went to the shot. And I was like, okay, I got to get a break. That's how bad this was for me. And I couldn't stand any of this. You know how I am about my lab stuff, science and, you know, production value. And then this happens. It looks like, <laughs> it looks like a piece of shit. It literally is a turd <laughs> with legs. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, baby, you wouldn't believe what happened to me when I went to the bathroom. Or the hell did you eat? I'm like, Lord, what crab shark? My butt. This is came out of the butt. Like, what on earth is this gray turd with like two marble eyes and legs? And this is just this is what happens. He just kind of goes by, like, yeah. And then we cut to you know, Ethan Van Skyver. <laughs> off, the off brand even Van Skyver. How about yeah. that? Off brand Uncle E. Okay, so there's been all of these different sh uh shark movies. Why have we not gotten shit shark yet? No, that's Homeboy's big... wife, right? Yeah, that's that's yeah, uh, well, that's yeah. Wife. so the bearded dude and this chick are married in real life. And there's a whole sequence where they have been they've slept together. We're going to get to the drug use in just one moment because I'm leading to that. 
And it is so, <laughs> she's just sitting there like this and you're expecting her to be like, you know, playing with his chest or they'll actually kiss. It would, it would not have been inappropriate for any of that to take place. They act like they barely want to be in the same room together. It is so bad. It is so awkward. And then it's like, um, how about doing some drugs? And she pulls up this bag. Ironcaster, I know you got, I know you got the muscle pulled up. Find the shot of the bag. That is not going to be in the trailer. In the in the shot of the bag, I kid you not. Look, did you notice this? It is a yellow and blue makes green Ziploc bag. Yes. A yellow and blue makes green. You guys are old enough to remember that commercial. It is literally that cheesy. Oh, there you go. He found the romance scene. You pull that up. Shut. Yeah, uh, kid, low-key kiddo was like, ew. And I was like, what? They're just like sitting there. They're not even doing anything. And she said, um, chest hair. And I was like, oh, all right. Network television has more interaction and stuff than this guy. This stuff going on. They, they, like, I, I was like, who are, and they had this, because they have odd names. So I thought, you're kidding me. They're married. And I'm like, you couldn't, I'm not, I'm not asking them to actually make out, but I'm asking them to like, she, like remotely be into one another. It's so bad. There's a I shot the, where she, the first shot she pulls up, I swear to God, she holds it up in a Ziploc bag and it's a yellow, like the seals, the yellow and blue makes green seal. Yeah. So terrible. They found, they found that same bag at the white house recently. Oh, wait, Shelly Lee, Shelly Lee's got gotcha. you. Yeah. Yeah. They might have. They might have. It might have been TQ twenty five shark drugs. Yep. Hunter. Oh shark. yeah. Yeah, and apparently when they take the drug, uh, they they like he they wind up envisioning being sharks. Yeah, we'll get we'll get to the drug. HT twenty five. The so, news. So ZBR. Street. Here's what happened. Sharkcaster is listing off different shark movies, and somehow he mentions Cocaine Shark. And the guy behind me had recently <laughs> seen Cocaine Bear and made the association that they're probably about the same or similar in quality. The rest no. is history because mm-hmm. now we're on Turd Shark, Great Turd Shark. That's what we've watched. We're watching Great Turd Shark is what we're watching. So, And it was all filmed with an iPhone. Okay. get Fast forward a little bit to the hallucination of the drugs because they take the drug and then – it's not even like a trip. Yeah, this is it. They oh. just lay there and they kind of like twitch and ee, 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 and then they have these cut shots of really bad graphics and stuff, which we're supposed to assume because we're told this more than it makes any sense that they're hallucinating that they are sharks. And the twist is because he said oh, i'm so one the, the second time or third time they do it it's like i'm so full like you're now you're supposed to presume that he's the one that's gone out and maybe killed or eaten someone i don't know they, they just do a bunch of stuff and it's just oh my god i know you see this this picture here was is pops's face watching this movie i i paused <laughs> oh i mean it took me <laughs> it took me like I couldn't believe this movie was a little over an hour because it took me like seven to eight different little t- sequences to just I could not do it. So if it wasn't talk hard, I wouldn't have done it. I obviously I bailed out on Sharks of the Corn after about a half hour, and I can't even get through what ten minutes of fi- Thanksgiving. I felt like I was being pumped because it starts with boobs in my face. It was so graphic. I'm like, what is happening? I think I lasted ten or fifteen minutes of Thanksgiving. It's that bad. But because of talk hard, I went through the whole thing and it was unbearable. Unbearable. Oh my <laughs> gosh, guys. I'm telling you, Tubi, Tubi needs to have like a warning on this movie. To be or not to be. Ironcasters. Tropic. Yeah, Shark Week. Oh, yeah, it's brutal. His poop turned into the shark. Maybe. Maybe he feels like he's pooping out the shark. Maybe. That explains the face. It does. All right. So let's go back to the trailer because the trailer, I think, is easier to navigate than this movie because it's just you, you find something else interesting and then we'll pop. We'll pull it back up again. Um, this is that doctor and the, the exploding aquarium or whatever. So he just has this 
stuff applied to his face. Here's some sort of footage where they put in like this graphic explosion, which I assume they can do, right? Isn't that what you were saying? That's like an app. Yep. See how the laser beams are going out? It's high tech. Yeah, let's go back a little bit. Yeah, this was the... And then they cut to the water shots. And I think we can see... Oh, this is when they're attacked on the boat. So, oh, yeah, this yeah. is the guy. So the guy on the right in that pink shirt is the bearded guy. This is what he really looks like. Evidently, I was confused. I had no idea who the guy in the beret was. Like, they just randomly showed up, and I'm like, where was this guy? Where was he from? Oh, oh, yes, Ironcaster, thank you for finding that shot. Okay, uh, so the doctor... The doctor is just in that one sequence. There's an explosion, and then he wanders off. Okay, it's not doctor, doctor, is it? No, no, no. He doesn't deserve that level of. We have to go up with a different name for this guy, and it's going to be he, diaper, doctor diaper face. Because I'm like oatmeal, because like they just put oatmeal just, on his face. There's no explanation. The this trunk of this car just pops open, and this dude just jumps out. So having oh, go ahead just a little bit so we can see this thing. What happened? Oh. there you go he has this string so this is like some sort of mask but they tape it around or he has it tied over his head so it's supposed to be i'm like does he have a thong on his face he's dr thong face because i'm like what is happening it what who is this guy it took me forever see he doesn't even he didn't even have it on right he fixes it right in the middle of the movie he just pulls it up and it's, it's down again in like two seconds it took me forever to figure out who he was and what was happening. How far is this into the movie? We're like 30, 40 minutes in, right? It's a big, big jump. Looks like a swimsuit bottom. I thought it was a mask or supposed to be some sort of mask, but then I was like, it's got to be like a thong or something. What is going on? And he just has it strapped to his face. And I'm like, oh, he's supposed to be the doctor. There's, there's some, here's some public domain footage of some police lights, which they probably were able to find for free. Over on Pixabay. These random blood smearing special effects show. This is them hallucinating on drugs. On the not cocaine drug. Because it's not cocaine. Whatever it is. TQ5225 square root of three. I don't know. Yeah. This is shark oh. fin coke. All right. What's that part? Okay, yeah, this is when the two guys show up with the boat. And I it took me a minute again because they put a sweater on him and stuff. Oh my gosh, they stumble across the um the spirit of Halloween prop and they just poured fake blood around it. It's oh my gosh. It's so bad. It's so bad. What is going on? Oh, they're back in bed again. We're bedroom time. They they just take their Ziploc bag out and just it's just random conversations and just oh my gosh yes i know it is it is bad it f trust me film students know better than this sweetheart before we film this scene will you shave around my nipples real quick i'm kind of self-conscious yes thank you if she had waxed him like 40 year old virgin style that would have made this movie a lot more interesting oh my do you God. think this was the actual bedroom no no, because there's shots when you pull back and you're like, this is not someone's house. It's just someone. I, I don't know what they did. This is not their house. No way. That's not an actual person. So they just they staged this in some room because they film in some sort of school at one point because the one guy is like walking down this hallway to, quote, eliminate the competition. And he's in a school. So it's probably just some sort of location that's empty. Or oh, there we go. The high tech quality of turd shark. I guess it's kind of the hammerhead version, so it's hammer turd shark. Ray Harry House and eat your heart out. Oh my gosh, please do not say that. Oh my gosh. The, ah. the shark is the shark is, <laughs> the, the, like water effect. All right, let's hear Loki do a sound effect. Play that back. Let's hear his version of it. Let's see what we can do here. Let's do some sound effects. Ah. 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 All right, my turn. Playback. Ah. 
Uh, n- n- Pat, to answer your question, never do it. no, this was an actual crab shark. They caught one. Why is this? Why, okay, okay. Why do we not have Mystery Science Theater three thousand back? And why are they not covering shit like this on streaming services? We need well, it back. I think Rift Tracks has a higher level of standard than this because they do Rift Tracks. They don't do Mystery Science Theater. It's called Rift Tracks. A ton of their stuff is on Tubi. But I got to be honest, this is even worse than what they would do. This is so bad. I'm not even sure they would waste their time with this because this is terrible. I don't no. even remember. Her name is like this long, fancy name. Like, was it? Is it Stephanie? What's her name? Anyway, some long name. And I'm like, whatever. Just stop staying her name and just get on with the story. Let's just keep it moving. She's just drug lady. <laughs> we should invite him on council. <laughs> I agree. Crab shark. <laughs> Great turd shark. <laughs> oh, Patton Oswalt ruined Mystery Science Theater? What? Oh, okay. yeah. So Mi- Mystery Science Theater 3000 has come back for like a couple seasons and it's on Netflix. They've got hmm. Felicia Day and Patton Oswalt on there. Oh, my gosh. No, yeah. Patton Oswalt's not. That's not. That's not going to work. All right. What else we got? Oh, so at this point in the movie, at this point in the movie, uh, they hang on one second. Here, I'll pull the uh, trailer back up. We'll just kind of bounce around. Trust me, it doesn't matter, people. They don't care. Yes. Okay. There was a shot, so you can see that's the bearded guy, and their boat's getting attacked. The bearded lady. All right. All right, that's the name of the boat, bearded lady. The bearded lady. All right, ready? Yeah. Go, go, go. Yeah. Look at this. Look at the cutaway shot, though. That was so bad. That is the best shot of it. Run, <laughs> Forest, run. <laughs> oh, good night. This is so terrible. Oh, it's so terrible. So. By this point, they now realize that uh, I think we said his name is what Nick. Like I'm trying to. No, like, this men- is the boss. His name is. He's got a stupid name like Graciola or something. I don't know his name. They they realize that our de- our our detective, our noir detective, is actually like, undercover. Yeah, so they claim later they they knew all along though. So I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Garis Garisco Garisca Garisca. Also, like the the voiceover has a terrible echo in this too. Yes, yeah, there's the sound is bad. This is the same shot that they had earlier. They just took the computer monitors out of the room, and suddenly this guy has completely different look without that that hat thing on. And there's like a discussion about clothes and going out to the water, and, and suddenly they had like her her dress with like a sailor's cap and. He's all shaved, and it's like, oh my gosh, what has happened? It's a completely different film. Like, it doesn't even feel like we're in the same movie anymore. Like, I'm like, what happened? She's and there's never cocaine. She's I'm with Chris Persia said it. There's never cocaine. No. The Iron Caster shark head is better. Yeah, it is. It is. At least it's a practical effect. How you doing? Lobster shark would be. Uh, Lobster would be an upgrade. We can do a little, yeah, let's do a shark caster palate cleanser. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, it definitely feels better doing that. Thank you. Good call. Lobster shark king. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, jump ahead a bit because Lord knows it doesn't matter. Let me find that trailer again, see if there's anything else that would be worthy of... Uh, I actually just, I'm still just sort of, I got to be honest, I'm still a little in shock of how bad this is. Is that, is that even like a possible thing that you, we could be, that it can be that bad? It's, it is baffling. Like that, they go out in the, it's like, we got, we got, we have to justify, we have to have a boat scene. Let's put, let's do this. We have to go out to an island. This is just so we can have the, 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 the trailer footage. 
Here, let me just show you. This is this is what we worked ourselves up to. I I, I actually um, I think I cried a little bit when this popped up. I think I was like, oh, it's just, it's that bad. It's just that bad. You said this was done with an app. You can do this with an app. Yeah, you can do a, you can do a lot of special effects with an app. You can do laser beams, lightsabers, all kinds of cool shit. I don't think we can back this up. We should do voice. Look, we do voiceover and do like, you're watching Talk Hard. Let's do something like that. Hang on. Let me get it to make it full screen. Maybe we'll just make it a. There we go. Huh? Ready? Yep. You're watching Talk no, it's, Hard. and it, It's too fat. It's too short. I thought it would be like enough time where he made it seem like he was talking. That didn't work. Ah, well. Gosh, that's so bad. And Sharkcaster's coming to get you. Look at that effect. Laser beams. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it with this part then. That'll work. That's <laughs> good. Oh, good night. Oh, it's an hour of our lives. We can't get back. And now we're talking about it for an hour. So it's like, this is just terrible. Um, Ironcaster, how did it feel knowing that you've done this to us? How can I make you repent? Can't wait for Shark Cocaine Shark 2, directed by Pop, starring the Cotton Council. I, Listen, I brother. Totally What's that? I totally believe. Wakazashi's in the house. Thank you, Gray. Uh, if I were to write a sequel to this, we'd actually have to have actual cocaine. There'd actually have to be cocaine in my cocaine shark movie. We'd actually have to have sharks or something in my cocaine. Whatever that thing is, the crab. Sh if it is, if it was called crab shark, Loki, we wouldn't be in this mess. Just so you know. No, we wouldn't because I'd never watch it. You'd be like, oh, no. Hell no. That's exactly what you would have said. Because that Tubi list was long. Hiring a boat for the day blew out the budget for practical effects. <laughs> we could have watched Jaws. Just saying. We could, have, we could have watched a lot of things. I think we could have watched Jaws 4. We could have watched Jaws 3D instead. What it, I can't do Jaws 4. I, I'll, I might. I'm, there's, there's been a lot of debate about whether or not they can get me to do... Um, Jaws three. Like, well, I'm with, not doing four. Don't don't, with, don't worry, guys. Like I'm sure Steven Spielberg any day is going to do Jaws five. You gotta you gotta throw the the voodoo um, the voodoo witch doctor priest that's sending the shark after the Brodies. So you gotta have that plugged back into the movie where they have the voodoo the voodoo witch doctor who hates the Brodies sending the shark after the Brodies. And he's like communicating for the for the for the shark. Yeah. Yeah, so you got to add that back in the movie. It's the only way to watch it. So <laughs> when we heard Cocaine Shark, I was simply thinking, obviously, there's going to be drug runners, just like in Cocaine Bear. Instead of a plane, it's the back of the boat. Here comes the Coast Guard. Throw the cocaine over the side. For some reason, sharks get into it. Maybe it breaks open. There, there's another scene of some reason it breaks open. Sharks are swimming in it. Now they're on cocaine and they're behaving irrationally. I didn't expect plot. I did expect some cocaine and some sharks in my cocaine shark movie. I'm just well, saying. we've got we we do have an explanation for you. So right after right after they premiered this in Japan. When it was called Crab Shark, still, there was a huge bust where the Coast Guard here uh, in the States found like $3.5 million worth of Coke floating in the ocean after this, these, these drug runner, this drug runner boat got blown up, right? So they find $3.5 million in, in Coke floating around in the ocean. They immediately go to, oh, what's her name? The chick who did Cocaine Bear, um, Elizabeth Banks. And they're like, hey, we need Cocaine Shark. And she's like, I could totally do a Cocaine Shark. You could totally do a Cocaine Shark. Let's do Cocaine Shark. And then as soon as that happened, 
they changed the name in this movie from Crab Shark to Cocaine Shark. Hmm. Yeah. This is from one of the stories that covered it. And you can see some of the graphics that we may, we may not have been able to do the film justice. Got that shot. Under what light is, is this movie being done justice? Oh, we're doing some justice. Look at this shot. Here's our promotion material. I guess the Japanese got the short end of the promotion material because there's a big ramp up from Tubi to this. There's our close up. The creature effects are top tier. I kid uh -huh. you not. That's what that says right there. That. Wow. What rag are we reading? We are reading creepycatalog.com. It's a rag. Okay. Creepycatalog.com is happening, quote, sort of. And it's already premiered in Japan. It's a film student who wrote this. This is going right to be there. my new go-to website. He's a renowned expert on horror cinema. Uh-huh. Let's see what else Chris Cat. He has a degree here. Goes. He's a best body horror movies, new and upcoming horror movies, best horror movies. Yeah, there you go, Iron Caster. You can uh, head right over here to creepycatalog.com. I'll put it in private chat. I could this probably the get guy, out for this site. This is the guy that ran out of the room during Halloween when you were watching the horror movie, probably pissed his pants on the way. I couldn't believe so. this. I uh, Crab Shark, careful who you sleep with. That's not PG-13. Do you take cocaine with your sharks for breakfast? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, Jaws 5, Latin X dance off. You guys have some strange. Your ideas are just about as strange as Tubi. I'll be honest, you guys. This this, this sounds like a movie Jaws from Mexican Iron Man. Just uh, it's too long. Justice is served in the dark. Oh, that's so right. It's around seven, seven seconds. Seven seconds. <laughs> I got it. Got it. <laughs> seven seconds of cocaine shark. Although he'd be, uh, be perfect for YouTube shorts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The YouTuber. We should just do. All right. We're going to do random voiceover for the trailer because it can't get it can't be as good as uh, this movie. So let's uh, let's 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 level this up some. If we're going to be if we're going to suffer. Let's make sure we find something that we can enjoy. So I so as I bloopered up the fact that we couldn't do the voiceover the way I thought we could. We'll go right back to the get the beginning. And uh, play it that back way. Back to the beginning. It was a dark and stormy night at the bay. And it was cold. Cold enough Holy that when you went outside, it felt cold. All of these fine locations Shoo. that we we'll never use in our movie. One man. Money, show me the money. That's the entire budget right there. Okay, maybe a little extra. How would it cost to rent the boat? We're going to need a bigger boat. I don't remember any of these shots in the movie. I remember this one. Mike, I, 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 I think I, I think I farted in my bunny suit. Oh yeah. Twenty little sharks went into the water, chief. Only five came back out. He's a bigger tubes. Bigger tubes. There you go, Iron Caster. You can do the bat sound. See there. Want to try again? Maybe go back a little bit farther. I don't know if I can go that high. With All it. right. Ah! Oh. Doo -doo, it wouldn't be like a Jaws doo -doo, thing. Doo -doo, it would have to have something else. Do 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 do. <laughs> the look on her face like i'm gonna be in i'm gonna be a what movie 20 chicklins went into the water me last 
What do you mean I have to live stream about this movie? Yes, you have to live stream about that movie. You have to talk about it. Oh my god, they're talking about that movie. Pops, you can't you can't go running away. I've got crabs on my face. Zoom. Explosion. Ow. Help I me. Fell in a, the plastic mold. Help me. This is gonna my, be an IMDB, isn't it? Let me put my glasses back on. Okay, Loki, cue the special effects app for the explosion sequence. We did it! Cut to the boat sequence. Rental boat. Go. Do, 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 do. Ah. Oh, yes, I like to live in France. Oh, my God, it's a terrible shark. Hans, hold it's me. It's the third shark. Go, third shark, go. <laughs> Wait, not in the water. Don't jump in the water with the third shark. Get in there and get, here, my, they all get in there and get my coat, bitch. In there they all float. <laughs> They're all floaters. <laughs> this summer, the floaters are in the water to get a suitcase to a guy in a beret. Dun dun. Ah! <laughs> Oh, by the way, you know how long it took me to figure out what was going on with this chick? I had no clue to what was happening. I'm like, wait a minute. They cut away, and it's just some girl. I'm like, she's just talking about having some sort of problem. I'm like, what is that? Talking to her mom on the phone or something. I'm like, what is happening? I don't even know what's going on. There's no context. My My favorite part is where they're like, yeah, there's totally a crab shark out there. She she grabs all her medicine just and she puts it in the work. yard. <laughs> I'm, I'm normal. Crazy. I'm really I'm normal. <laughs> and then she's like not normal. normal. Cause then she's like, I can see Loki laughing because that scene we could never film the scene. Because then she just goes, Well, just shoot the guy. Just shoot the guy. I know. No, 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 just shoot him. Why can't you just shoot him? Just shoot him. Just shoot him. Just shoot him. Like, what the hell is wrong? She's just completely insane. And just talk about just shooting the guy. Just shoot the guy. Just shoot the guy. She says like 16 times. Oh my gosh. Uh so those were real effects. I I listen, we don't know DG Ronji. We're just we're you know, do the best we can. Crab totally make every claymation effect look brilliant by comparison. Yeah, definitely for sure. Follow the science. <laughs> Special effects, special effects. The boat is owned by a cast member. That's a good point. That's a good call, actually. Probably someone in the movie. Uh, who, who? Well, the beard, the not bearded guy who had a beard at one point was driving the boat. So maybe it's his boat. Hey, uh, hey, hey buddy, you want to grow okay. a beard and be in a movie? You got a so boat? This is, <laughs> come on. <laughs> this is the sequence when they film it eating someone. In the first scene, they eat the guy. And you see the little claymation thing or whatever with a suitcase, but that character doesn't have the suitcase in that scene. <laughs> That's how little they care about detail. Yeah. Cut with this special effect. Boom. Oh, turd shark. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right there. Right there. Hold on. Go away. Wait, wait, pop. Go go back. Go back just to where it's like it shows the effect. The boom. Right here. Ready? Yep. Back in the hall of super best friends. <laughs> Cocaine shark. Coming Saturday mornings. I know. Oh, <laughs> good night. So I really have to stream about this, huh? I really have to do a stream about this. You think Cecil will come on my show? You have to put it out on all your social media. We need positive feedback from the movie. Oh, dear Lord. I'm sure it's going to be copyright flagged. I'm sure because they will. Oh, my gosh. It's insane. This is so. Caster, you know, I didn't think. I thought with Shark Side of the Moon, we'd be able to hold that over your head forever. So I thought, yes. well, literally. And we had a good time with that. Like, the nicknames were right out of the gate. We have a good clip or two from it. This. It was just pain. This is shit. As shitty yeah. as the shark looks like, this is as shit as the shark looks like a big piece of shit. It's, yeah, it's rough. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. Both I wanted to delete little... Tubi after I watched this. <laughs> <laughs> You'll love to know, I have a follow-up movie suggestion. 
Oh my god. We let him we let him we let him out of the gate. One time we're like, yeah, yeah. we'll He's in timeout. <laughs> He's in timeout. <laughs> you just need a minute to calm down. Don't get full of yourself. All right, you gotta behave now. Cause you don't get to pick for like a month. You don't even get you don't even get input. Like, I'm taking you out of the Twitter group. <laughs> no suggestions. <laughs> but it's a Roddy Roddy Piper film. We'll see. How it comes to Frogtown? Uh, yes. To Frogtown. Okay, that's knew, different. Yeah, that's, that's different that's things all together. Yeah, that's not a bad thing. Yeah. It's also to point it out, I believe it's the 35th anniversary oh. this year. You know, okay. I paid I paid $115 for that on VHS. It's the first thing I ever bought with my very first paycheck was a VHS copy of Hell Comes to Frogtown because no one had it. No one had it, and I had to buy, like, the out-of-print version. So, yeah. Hmm. Pain in the ass, that was. Yeah, where is it even playing? How do we watch it? I found it straight on YouTube. Oh, it's, it's on YouTube. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me check my. Let me check my. Place. Of course, you know right, right where I was going with this. Like, I, I think it's time to put the sharks to rest. Let's go for some frogs. Well, it's couple- going to be a minute. We got a long list of some things to get to. <laughs> so, uh, don't, don't, don't totally write us off, folks. It's going to be a minute for us to come back around to Frog Town, even. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, so, no commercials, no, no commercials, no breaks, no nothing. I've got it right here. So yeah. All right, we'll send us the link or get yeah, you know whatever. Is it is it where we, where I think it is? Yes. Oh, then I have yeah, I can get it too. We'll just okay. put it in private chat too, though. Perfect. Okay, so that works. So we can do that on some point. So, but we got to get through, um, crawl. Right. Let's have a let's have a, a real palate cleanser. Will be crawl. Is that next weekend? Uh, yeah. Yeah, next okay, week's Tuesday. Yeah, we'll do crawl 40th anniversary. Um, that that we earmarked from last year. Like I had that on a note and like had a date like do this on this weekend or whatever of last year. I was like, oh, okay. So then because we had we listed off a whole bunch of movies. I'm like, wait a minute, this is supposed to be crawl week. How come we didn't talk about that? So yeah, crawl will be next. And then um a castle of uh Cagliostro. Is that how you yes. say it? Cagliostro. Okay. So loop in three. And then Sisu. And then we have to pick. I think it is um it's it's either real we'll either do real genius or we'll do Jet Lee's hero. So we kind of oh, yeah. yeah, we kind of mix it up there. Cause I I like mixing up, you know, let's do a comedy, let's do an action flick, let's do whatever this is once a year. This is done. I don't, you know, if you hadn't picked Frogtown. Might have, we, we might have just kicked you out of the club for a couple of weeks, but you just end up in timeout. We're just going to keep him. Yeah. Iron Cash is going to be here, and he's just going to be on perpetual mute. We're just going to leave him. He's just muted. Just, oh. No, no, no talk. No, no. Yeah. Oh, I I don't know what to say. Um, it Look, is a reminder that everything is out there is what how I felt. We can't get too used to only watching good movies. I don't know about that. I I disagree with that. I I will absolutely positively disagree with that statement. This this is a reminder that I guess Tubi will take anything. This is right there with Thanksgiving, and I have to be honest. I'm I'm sitting here thinking about it. I think I mean Shark Side of the Moon. There, I mean, listen, there is a story. I don't know what this story was. I don't even know what was happening most of the time. Most of the time they were just doing things, at least in Shark Side of the Moon, even though it was completely retarded and stupid, you understood like this is what they claim they're doing. This is what's happening. It's ridiculous and it's stupid, but this is what was happening. In this movie, they just talked about drugs and they talked about experimentation and then they would just go on these random stories with the two people in bed taking drugs hallucinating and then you cut to a boat and there's a creature in the water you have some girl in the woods throwing her drugs out the thing because there's i mean it was like what is i there's not even an effort like i said this i would love to understand someone who saw this in japan i just want to know like what was that kind of reaction like wow uh lupin yeah okay i'm down i think the reaction was it was straight shit so I think he, yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. This was, this was, 
this was bad. Like I said, I got to be honest. This was this is right there with uh, Sharks of the Corn, where I probably would have just stopped. Just I don't I don't even know how long I would have lasted, because um, I, de- I definitely wouldn't got it past the first sequence of them talking in bed and the, and them like wig acting like they're wigging out on something or whatever. That would have been it. I would never have made it past that. And don't even get me started on my brain and how short circuited I was on all of the stuff like the production. And I just it was so bad. So it's huge in Japan, like cheap trick. <laughs> good job. Yeah, that's a good job. Oh, Salt Theater. Yeah, Kroll is a unique experience. Yeah, Kroll is an interesting one. I'm really happy to be able to talk about that with you guys. Mercy on the Theater. And it was it just really stunk because it was like, I don't know if they were readily available or I was just so poor. I just never got, I never got one. I never got one. Didn't have one to throw. I always thought about trying to cut a Frisbee. So I would have one. I never had one. Yeah. Yeah, I remember getting those, those like kind of like two or three arm little frisbees that you can just kind of toss like that. And then, like, I remember playing with like that, thinking it's like the crawl. They, the, the like, they, they had some that were like, you'd, you'd see one that was like green or blue or orange or some weird off color. And um, they had, I don't. Them. I don't remember when a, when you could buy a glaive though. I don't think I don't even remember you, Chris Berger. You know when, when when how long until we could find one in a store? Like I don't remember when we could get a glaive. Now there was a glaive that came out with one of the GI Joes. Does you guys know which one that is? I don't. I'm not a GI Joe guy, but I had a. I think it was my cousin who had the GI Joe that had one, and I remember I took the glaive, so my Star Wars figures would have a glaive. But it was a joke. Techn- yeah. Technically, a glaive is like a spear with a longer. I thought it was a five on. star knife uh-huh. thing. That's what they called uh-huh. the glaive. That's what they call it in the movie. But an oh. actual glaive is like a pole arm, but it has a much longer blade on it than a regular spear. Okay. No, but in the movie, obviously, they're calling the glaive like Excalibur. It's like Excalibur, you know? All right. They gave it a name. Like, right. Yeah. yeah. Man, Robbie Coltrane, Liam Neeson. It's going to be fun. Ah, normalcy. Normalcy. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. I think it's still backdoor pilot for cheap live action street sharks using a performance enhancing drug that turns one into a shark person. Yeah, that was a twist. Like you weren't quite sure what was happening at the end or whatever. So anyway. When King Shark on the CW looks better than in your movie, <laughs> holy crap, man! Man, and think about this. Think about like, I mean, uh, we complain about like some of the special effects in movies, and like that. When you see this kind of stuff, and you're like, I don't even understand the motivation of making something that bad. You know, we've been saying for a while now that you could grab your your phone right now and make a movie. Yeah, but we would want to actually have a story. I I mean, you can make a movie, but it shouldn't be on Tubi. Um yeah. Oh, yeah, well, there is one. He, he it was a GI Joe figure. One of you google it up. Come on, guys. Figure it out. There's there's a trust me, the cousin had one and I remember I took trust me, you remember very specifically when you're a kid and you get in trouble for something like that. That's how I remember. I don't remember the Joe. I wasn't into Joe's. It's just, it's an obscure Joe. It's not one of the mainstream Joe's. It's just a random figure. So I assume he's a Cobra character or something. I don't know. But there's a little, I'm, I'm calling it a glaive, but it's like, it's the, it's the, you know, the five knives thing. It's a little thing that came with the Joe's. Time to poop hard. Well, that was what we've done. We've pooped hard over Cocaine Shark. That's a movie that is more about a giant gray turd than it is about cocaine or sharks. Crab shark. The shapeshifter dude. Okay. Zartan? Zartan had a... No, come on, really? That'd be kind of mainstream. Well, no, the shapeshifter dude was like Zartan. So yeah. that's... Hmm, interesting. Um, so yeah, Kroll's coming up. Castle is coming up. Uh, get, a, get a chance to get your guys' feedback on Sisu, which I'm very excited about. Um, because I think that's a fun... Um, 2023 film i want to get more people to watch that so yeah uh (sighs) 
Anyway. Uh, all right. So let's, uh, I don't know. Any last thoughts, Iron Caster? Uh, it, like, I, 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 this like it reminded me of, you know, when you're in the movie theater, you know, when you're in like the video store and you would go and pick a movie just because like the cover looked good. And then you find out there's a, a big old pile of dog crap. Mm. This was this was that unfortunate weekend where you didn't get get a good movie or a good game. So this is like the titty pick cover of the of the movie where you're like, oh, look at all the look at all the titties. And then you get it home and not one not one breast are to be seen in the entire movie. That's horrible. That's absolutely horrible. I I hated those. I hated those when I was a kid. I was like, ooh, look at that. I'm sure it's gonna have some loving in that. Nope. Hmm. There was always they were yeah, always we teasing you. Like we need to go watch. Uh, I don't know. I've tried a couple of the good movie. A uh, perfect example. Uh, one of like the seventeen Puppet Master sequels. Hmm. Oh no, I actually like those. I don't know. I don't even know what um, yeah, Storm Shadow had one. Okay, that makes sense. We're gonna watch Puppet Master. It's got to be the third one. It's Cocaine and fentanyl and kill this movie. You mean you don't want to watch the second one with like the weird like No <laughs> the ending? Pretend <sighs> never happened. Let's we'll we'll do what the writers did for three and pretend that movie never happened. And we'll turn Andre Too Long and the Puppets into like revenge killers. That's great. That's absolutely awesome. They were only killing because they were getting revenge because their master, what happened to their master? I absolutely love that. Turns them into good guys. Makes them relatable. You want the puppets after that. You're like, well, well, wow, that's how Blade got created. Oh, wow, that's why, that's why Mr. Tiny Head has such big hands and is always pissed off. Hmm. I get it now. All right. Um, I was trying to think. I, I, I kind of, I just keep going back to one that I know that we have talked about. So that's the only reason I could think of it, and that would be. The theatrical experience of seeing Jaws 3 was that type of experience. It was so bad. I actually asked my grandmother, I remember being there with my grandmother and asking her, we can we can go. This is that bad. I'm, I'm good. We can go. <laughs> because you had the glasses on. You know, they shoot the spear at you. There's a shot of the shark approaching the tube. So the tube and the yeah. shark. It just looked like cardboard, just like. And I'm like, okay, we can we can go. It's okay, we can leave now. So maybe it's not. I, I saw the movie because I saw the poster. Because I've really kind of been that way. I kind of know. I've, I've I've known most movies. It's pretty rare that it, someone's going to just sucker me in. One of the Freddy Jason movies was kind of like that. Like we drove to in go 3D. see it. Yep. Was it the 3D one? It was. It was really really bad. You're talking like, about yes, the. The one where um, it's not Jason, where it's like that that kid's dad the whole time, and it's not really Jason at all in the entire movie. Was it like part five or six? Something like that. Probably, yeah, yeah, yeah. something like had, that. We saw, he, he, yeah, or the guy with the guy with the candy bar. Yes, the guy with the candy bar. Candy bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the spear gun where oh. he shoots the spear gun and shoots the guy in the eye. And they have the they have the three people that are like, we'll go over them, we'll mess them up. We're gonna get those kids. Yeah. It was so it was that kind of like bad letdown? I saw something in the theater like that. But it's, it's, I guess it's kind of like that. I guess. I don't want to be. Is this a request? Because Iron Eagle is not the worst movie in the world. It's just like this bad knockoff of Top Gun. So I don't really want to sit through it again. So I'm just trying to gauge what you're trying to do with that. But I don't want to be so explain. Uh, cocaine t-rex okay maybe you don't give these people ideas jacob hey brother by the way uh yeah they i I, iron cashier could probably look i bet there if there's not already a cocaine t-rex there will be these people have yeah Ah. yeah. um let's see hey by the way mason instead of jason 
it's over. It's a really thank God for that. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Oh yeah, that's a good call too. But see, I'm I'm a little I didn't see that in the theater. Um, and I was kind of warned by someone who was really into Bond before I was really into Bond, and they were like, "Yeah, but that's not really Bond." And actually, I think I was more shocked by um on her Majesty's just service. A, like like it's just what, bad. What's it's just a, Never yeah. say never again is just a remake of Thunderball. Yeah, it's just that's a film. Never see. Yeah, yeah. It's a well, they that's the only rights they had was yeah. for Thunderball. So they made Thunderball and called it Never Say Never Again and brought um Sean back, Sean back yeah. and yeah. What a crap. It'd be more it'd be Way more to fun to do like just a you know Thunderball and Never Say Never Again conversation than it would be. Um yeah, Velocity Pastor is on there. I saw that in my scrolling. Lord help me. No, no K T turtles yet. That seems wrong. That seems wrong. Um, yeah. Looky, um, are you gonna be able to forgive Iron Caster for this? I mean, this is this is a little. Oh bit, yeah, you know. everybody makes a mistake every once in a while, and this was <laughs> cut me giant... deep, man. He cut, he cut me deep. Um, this, was, this was rough. Yeah, yeah, it's giant letdown, but because it's not Cocaine Bear, so they just all they did was hijack the name. And the worst part was I watched Cocaine Bear before this. And the only thing I said was the only thing worse than knowing that I'm through Cocaine Bear is that I got to go sit through Cocaine Shark. And it was so much worse than Cocaine Bear. Oh, my God. Yeah. Cocaine oh, Bear yeah. was terrible. I hated the Cocaine Bear. I could not. I had fun I the in bear. like two or three moments. Um, but this is it just it never knew what it wanted to do. Is it supposed to be funny? But it's, it's Elizabeth Banks. And she's that she's to me, Elizabeth Bank embodies that laugh that you do, that fake. <laughs> Isn't that funny <laughs> laugh that you do? <laughs> yes. Yes. That's she all embodies brain that. rusher. <laughs> it's all brain rusher. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. I think I, sh I think I should either go watch Cocaine Wars or Cocaine Cougar next. You can watch Cocaine Cowboys. That's all real. That really happened. That's all on Tubi anyway. I'm not watching Tubi for like an, another month. I'm not watching anything on Tubi. So the kiddo I, I was felt, like, oh, they have all the Transformer Energon and this and that on there. I was like, yeah, so do I. And you don't have to watch commercials on mine. So. Yeah, I feel it feels tainted now. I feel like I need a break. Like you guys, they took advantage of me. Tubi down. Uh, yeah, I got a little I got a little duped on this project. I feel maybe. We'll, um, we'll, we'll go to like the spy movies or the sword and sorcery next time. We'll see. All right. So I have a clip that I'm going to try to load here real quick. Cause I don't know if everybody's seen it. I want to make sure we just revel in it. We need a good palate cleanser. We can't, we can't stay where we are with the gray poop shark movie. So we got to figure out something. So, and I know not everybody could be here for our best of show. We did a little replay of just, and I actually did a little bit best of like piece together two or different things. Um, and one of those moments I kind of like dug a little deep. And I thought I, I thought I thought we did we did pretty well trying to uh, trying to really get in there. Um, I know Iron Caster, you know you do you do a lot, but we'll kind of go with this. I know Loki's got to dip out, so we'll just kind of um. Oh come on, you, come on, uh, Streamyard, quit uh, processing and just upload this video clip, will you? But you think um, this you think that would make this easy for you? No, it wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, my favorite moment, I th the, the moment that I think maybe bust out laughing the hardest was this just at, at the at about the 20 minute mark, the stripper scene where Santa's going into in the strip club and he's he's busting heads. And before he goes to like use the stripper pole to kill a guy, he's got to stop. He's got to wipe it off and disinfect it first. Um, so yeah, the uh, disinfecting of the pole. I loved all the different deaths. Like it was fun. I mean, I, I rewound several times to rewatch different moments of did he do this? Did he do that? Um, uh, so Loki, what's it? I mean, obviously, you 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 regularly quote the uh, the introduction <laughs> scene, <laughs> which always makes me laugh. Uh, is there something else that you could say at the top of your list? Oh, the, the beginning of this movie, the first five minutes of this movie are absolutely insane. Um, this is mm -hmm. what got me to watch this movie. I was like, do I really want to watch 
a horror slasher movie with Bill Goldberg where he's playing Santa. And then I watched the first five minutes of the movie with Fran Drescher. Santa? <laughs> yes, Virginia. There is a Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. And he goes about murdering this despicable, annoying, effed up family where the son-in-law is banging the mother-in-law. And all of this, all of this, you know, you're getting Kate Spade and you're not, you, no more of this, no more of this mall shit. We're not going to the mall to buy Christmas. We're getting designer mm -hmm. shit. We're revolting. And it's like this despicable family. And there's James Conn going, I just want a moist turkey. I want a moist turkey Fredo. Mm -hmm. And 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 Fran Dresser's like, moist, that'd be nice. And you're like, oh my God, please kill all of them. And then like 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 Jesus on the mountain, there's Bill Goldberg coming down the F and chimney, and he murders the entire family and the dog. Because yeah, even the dogs yapper first. dogs annoying. The dogs first. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, yeah. So yeah, the daughter. There we go. Listen, oh my Loki, God. my brother, <laughs> Loki, <laughs> Loki, my brother. Uh, thanks for everything. Hanging out, suffering through cocaine shark. Uh, it's been great, man. Thank you so much for doing this, Thank guys. You. Make sure you're subscribed. Check out his show tomorrow morning. Be YouTube talk. Tons of great stuff over there. Doing sync the uh, late night shows and the Wednesday comic roundtable stuff like that. So I know you got to dip out. Thank you so Thanks, much, John. my brother. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. You guys take it easy and take care of everybody out there in chat. Have a great one, guys. All right. Um, Ironcaster, my friend, what is going on? What is uh, on the agenda for you, my friend? Uh, let's see. Friday night, I'll be on with Nick Weiser for the, uh, the Friday Night Comic Shop Talk, where we are going through the last uh, four episodes of our little month-long push into Amazing Spider-Man with issues 38 or 36 through 40. Right, so we are getting right. to the, the iconic cover where Green Goblin is flying along with Peter Parker in the Spider-Man mask, and he's dangling for his life. Oh, we had a little so action in these covers and these issues. There was just so much. Um, yeah, yeah. So I get um, and I, actually, I think on that title, on that, I mean, on that topic tomorrow morning, uh, we do our we start off our uh, comic book Wednesday with a comic talk every week. And um, this week is with James Mealy, which is where we do um, why it's great. So we try to pick an older comic. We find out something that's actually maybe not super expensive, but something that's actually good. Let's find something that's actually good. Um, and I chose a Daredevil comic book. It's pretty modern-ish. Um, and the backstory is written by Stan Lee himself. And it's got Spider-Man in it, and it is a blast. So if you get a chance to catch that show tomorrow morning, uh, that's at 10 15. Those are at 10 15 in the morning. I use my videos through the week or 10, uh, 10 15 after Loki show. Uh, tomorrow's comic book day. So it'll be different videos. Not as many reviews tomorrow. A couple news stories and things like that I want to talk about. But uh, great stuff coming up on the, on, the, on the pipe there. Obviously, I'll be suffering through uh, Secret Invasion, doing some more Shark Week talk. I got to go through the Discovery. Finally, released a schedule. So I finally have Shark Week stuff I can actually talk about from the actual Discovery people. Um, and do another review. Um, I did a little bit, did deep, deep, uh, deep blue sea, that open water. So we've got more to do. Everybody, I think picked the reef over bait. So those will be out there as well. They'll be coming soon. We'll get those done too. So yeah, not as bad as cocaine shark though, my friend, not as bad. Well, I mean, you you, you got to keep dangling just the bigger fish out and out in front of everyone. You got to just dangle off in the distance. It's always like on the horizon. Jaws 3d. I just don't. Yeah, Stephen Ransom is is definitely leading the charge on the whole Jaws 3D. Like, you saw it in the theater. Like, it, it, that's this is how it all starts. Like, the little comments here is like, you actually saw this in the theater. I saw this in the theater with my grandmother, and I was ready to leave as a child. Like, I'm a little kid going, I can go, I can go, and I'm like, and I because I love Jaws. And again, I've said. I was way too young to see Jaws in the theaters. My aunt was my babysitter. She had her boyfriend. She took me. And I remember vividly the the, the seats are they're, they're like this cheap cushiony stuff, but they're metal. My hands are like this. And I'm peering over the thing. And I've been told my whole life about this story because I cried and screamed because I would not get in the bathtub. <laughs> and I've been told my whole life about the story of when Jaws was in theaters. And it was this, it was this place we would go to 
all the time. I remember seeing Grease in tons of movies that I was probably way too young to be seen. And she was, she was my sitter for wherever she took me, you know, that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah. So I was a huge Jaws fan, even because it was like, it was like that, you know, scary movie love thing that you kind of get at a young age. Um, but I was never allowed to see a lot of those movies. They would never. So it was until I was much older that I saw pretty much. And that's why I think I'm such, and I, and I actually made the case again, because there's a great stream over on Troy Pacelli's channel, Last Call. They broke down 1982 movies. And you know how I feel about 1982. And I added, and remember, Raiders of the Lost Ark and Star Wars got a re-release that year. So those are my trump cards. It's like, oh, if you think it's really good, also know when you were living through this in real time, you also got to go to the theater to see these in theater again. It's so good. So blessed. So. Um, but you'll be back with me later this week, my friend. I'm pretty sure you're going to fit us in to get in there. We're going to San Diego Comic Con kicks off on Thursday. We started the tradition last year. We will just ramble for about two to three hours about all sorts of crazy stories. Who knows what the, well, we'll actually? They may actually be about comic books, Ironcaster. They actually may be about comic books. There's no movie TV people going to be picking up all the oxygen. So, well, maybe. well, I mean, we've got people putting a lot of oxygen out about uh, Young Ripa being there. That's awesome, by the way. I know. I, I could not believe it. So um, probably do a little member stream tomorrow, folks. If you're a member, make sure you carve out some time tomorrow evening. You want to hop back in. Maybe we can talk about something you want to talk about. But I'll probably talk about Shark Week and San Diego Comic-Con, maybe some other different ideas of some things I've got on the hopper as well. So, But uh, yeah, next week will be Kroll. Then we will uh, go through uh, Lupin 3. And then we'll do Sisu. And we'll kind of flip a coin, we'll probably do Real Genius, because we haven't done a comedy in a minute. So maybe we'll just do Real Genius and then do Hero Jet Li. And then maybe that's where we'll put Frog Town is after that. I think that's fair. Yeah, I, I would say somewhere around probably, it, it feels like a bit of a late September, early October sort of movie to do anyway. Okay, well, then we could slide it back even further. We'll look at the list then and see. We got a ton of recommendations from some folks, so we're always willing to... Uh, well, as you can see, we're willing to watch just about anything. So, uh, you often need to break out those sci fi moves with generically engineered animals that escape and create havoc. Hmm. All right. Uh, we, we did a Jurassic Park. So, for the 30th anniversary, Jacob. So, I mean, that should give us at least a little bit of a head start on that request. So, you know, if, if, we're, if we're talking about doing some of the other, uh, some other comedies, I mean, the original Pink Panther would even be worth doing. I, you know, you and I are going to disagree, agree to disagree about the original Pink Panther because to me, a shot in the dark is so superior. Like I, so I, I released my reviews now. They're both out for Pink Panther and for Shot in the Dark, and I watched Pink Panther. And my review is me going, I am so disappointed. I, I we enjoyed the movie, but and, and we realized when we watched Shot in the Dark, it was like, oh, that's why. Shot in the Dark is the one we remember: the Cato gag, the nudist colony, the the paddy wagon. The um the, the boss dead thing from the back of it yeah just just shot in the dark is so superior I mean it, it was it it is so well done that movie is so great well um, I mean I, you, you know the thing is though it's because like they had a good formula with they you know it's like they had some good characters in that first one they weren't expecting like the the uh inspector Clouseau to become the big star that he was right yeah that. david niven is and that's what mrs pop said we're watching this. she goes why is david niven in there I'm like well he's the headliner you know we, we, i pulled the poster up and everything and i'm like oh she's like i just don't see it like she just couldn't get into david niven she just didn't see him as being like the attractive sex signal of his time or whatever and she's like you know once you get to peter sellers it was just so much fun. Oh my gosh, we had such a blast. So, um, let's see. Um, Iron's uh, glorious beard, 3D. Oh, mm, yeah. Careful what you ask for. You never know. You never know. Um, yeah. Penny's got to rattle the pots. It's good. Jaws, alien, aliens, predator, young, and scared me to death. Now I have them. Love them. Yeah, I feel the same way. <laughs> so, alien, I didn't get to see in theater. Obviously, I was a little bit too young for that in theater. Um, I saw it on TV, and it was <laughs> it was so bad. I wasn't supposed to watch it. I stayed up late to watch it. Scared me to death. So then I, I was I was so then you you have to go to school. So now I'm overly tired because I didn't sleep. 
So I was almost like strung out like a drag addict. I was like traumatized from the movie and I hadn't slept all night and I was in school. So I was like, I was like, like this all day long. It was a mess. I remember it very, very vividly, especially the scene with the girl. Cause you see the thing go over like where it's going to attack her. And you're like, you know, for me though, it was, uh, the, it was the opening to tales from the crypt as a kid. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you've got the camera going through, through the through the castle you take it this yep. left take it this right you got the sinister yep. building music mm-hmm. and it's like you know that the crypt creeper is going to pop up and he, at some point you're like where's he going where's he going to be and i'm like hiding behind the couch as it's going on and then once that ended i, I just kind of like walk away i'm like i just want to see the scary opening and I was, I, they still kept me from seeing a lot of horror movies. Like I would be allowed to be dropped off. And what, so here's the thing when I was a kid too. So like, again, 82 was where it was kind of allowed. Like, you know, they, it was like a dollar theater. Um, and there was another one where you had to pay like full price. So they're like a dollar theater, but they had another one. So they're right next to each other. And they pull, they pull up and just leave you. And they always, my, my theory was this. If we ever got caught being in a rated R movie or doing something we weren't supposed to do, then I would lose it all. I would lose the whole privilege of going. So I never wanted to be caught and busted. Not because I was trying to be goody goody. It's like I didn't want to lose, you know, the chance to see Raiders of the Lost Ark again or whatever it would be. Like I didn't want to lose. So I didn't see a lot of those rated R. I didn't see thing in the theater until later. I didn't see this stuff. So that first year was a little tricky. So I was always trying to you know as long as I could get mom or grandma to go with me, I could see rated R movies, but I wouldn't be allowed to go on my own. So I didn't see like Nightmare on Elm Street in the theater. I saw it right when it dropped on VHS and I couldn't believe it. It just knocked my socks. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. So I was kind of into that kind of stuff. Um, a little behind the eight ball with the VHS stuff. But then once I was, you know, once that came out, now it's 84. Yeah, by the time we were at the like, because that, that, that's right where I'm transitioning to high school. Once I was in high school, it's a free for all. So we'd go to the video store. We'd be able to get like five or six at a time and just binge watch. I was babysitting at my aunt's house. So they had everything. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 David, it's just got so much good stuff. So much good stuff. So nine when you saw the fly. Yeah. Fly was pretty good. Fly was pretty good. So. All right, folks. Well, listen. You survived. Some of you have been here for a while. Chris Persia. Chris Persia is a boss. Not only is he here modding, being a supporter, he's suffering through this stuff with us, guys. Chris is Chris watched this. Like he's he's been blowing up our private chat about like, I can't believe what Ironcaster's gotten us into, kind of thing. This this movie is void of both cocaine and sharks. And it was like, what am I getting myself into? Like I should have pulled the plug. I don't know. Uh it's not what we do though. No, you're, you're you're saving you're saving the ripcord for the truly heinous film. No, I, you know what? It's okay. It's like, it's once in a while. Like it's once, it's once a year. Basically we've only done this like once before. Like, so it's like, okay, we're, we're good. We don't need to do this again. And I don't know. We, we, I, again, I, I, I didn't, I didn't press this issue. This was a, this was Loki said, he, quote, you brought this up and Loki said, oh, I'd watch that. And I was like, what? I need to find that as clip. I need to find that clip because it should be me going like, what is happening? What? cocaine shark we're gonna watch because co- i had not watched cocaine bear because i'm like there's no way i'm watching this correct this is crap and i hated cocaine bear i couldn't stand it it just did not work for me like at all so uh but guys you survived we survived hail to all of you members are out there chris persia's out there guys again um i got tons of videos and stuff lined up but i am trying to squeeze in some member stuff tomorrow probably around seven o'clock just kind of an open door. I'll ramble and chatter until you guys start lining up, coming up in here and hanging out with me for a minute. And then uh, Thursday, again, about seven or so, we'll, um, I'll try to be earlier than that, but it's probably not going to get started until about seven. We'll, we'll just open it up with some panelists and uh, talk about San Diego Comic-Con stuff and go from there. So, but Aaron Caster, my friend, have a good one. Thanks for everything. This, this uh, is always so much fun. You know, even, even like, you know, with sort of the beginning of this whole show, it's going through the bad stuff. I look forward to because then we get to kind of sit down and have these conversations. Like, I was actually looking forward to watching Halo, just not because like it's a good show, but because like we get to hang out. That's true. And it, it, it got to be honest. If this movie, I got to be honest. There's no story to work with at all. So it's not as though we could give them nicknames and kind of like joke about 
what it's like this movie is like four or five chunks of things just thrown together it's just a mess so even the nickname stuff really didn't work for me very well yeah um enough characters to even like find any little quirks that we can kind of go on it's like the guy who looks like he has like a fake beard i'm like "Eh." yeah it's just it was just it's a very generic bad film too it's just it's just a mess so um here's an old thank you clip just to say thanks to all of you out there and um you guys take care have a good week be blessed talk hard take care folks thank you you so much miss thomas we do appreciate you phil mccracken ophelia mchawk ophelia mchawk eileen dover Eileen Dover, Wayne Kerr, Wayne Kerr.